Our top focus this hour, the new Taliban government in Afghanistan has formally taken office and began to work restoring and repairing the war-torn country. The interim government, drawn exclusively from the loyalist ranks, have a monumental task ahead of them, a crippled economy, drought and security challenges, including from the Islamic State group's local chapter. As they transition to their governing role, the group is already facing opposition to their rule. Scattered protests, many of them led by women, broke out in cities across the country. In an effort to curb protests, the Interior Ministry has already issued its first order, saying that prior permission was needed to hold any demonstration and could not protest without the security and justice departments. It also warned that journalists from covering, journalists from covering such demonstrations, the group, which is known for executing people in stadiums, said it would not tolerate any resistance against its rule. Meanwhile, Afghanistan's new acting prime minister has called on former officials who fled the country to return, saying that the group will guarantee their safety. Speaking to Al Jazeera, Muhammad Akun said that the government wanted to establish a positive relation with the countries in the region and beyond and would guarantee the security of diplomats, embassies and NGOs. The new prime minister struck a conciliatory tone, saying that the Taliban wanted only good for the Afghan people and they seek to establish an Islamic system. He also reiterated the group's promise of amnesty for anyone who worked alongside the United States and backed the 2001 invasion, saying that no one will be subject to revenge. Despite the Prime Minister's reassurances, both Afghans and the world remain sceptical. The makeup of the Taliban's interim government has already been met with criticism, with Afghans noting the complete lack of women and poor ethnic representation. The majority of the acting ministers and their deputies are Pashtun despite the Taliban promises of an inclusive government. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.